Hey guys, what is up? It is Jim here, and today I finally have a new gun for you guys, and this time it is another gun from Call of Duty Black Ops 3, technically requested by Walker. Um, but yeah, uh, this is the LEGO KN44, which is, in my opinion, one of the best assault rifles in the game. It, it's just amazing, and I also love the look of it. Um, but also the, the LEGO model. So, <laughs> this took me quite a, quite a while to build. And, um, yeah. Uh, I don't really know too many facts about it, so you'll just have to find it yourself. Here's the stock, which, I don't know why, but this gun is longer than the actual one. And the actual in-game one should be like 88 centimeters, but mine is 110. Around that. Uh, so, here you have the stock, of course. Uh, I really like the shape of it. It's not too comfortable to use the cheek grass, but... It's fine. Here we have the dust cover, which it took a shitload of slopes <laughs> to make this. So, yeah, that's the only issue. I did not make the um, scope mount or whatever it is. Uh, I just didn't feel like the grip here, which has the sling mount and it has the really nice shape, but yeah. Um, working trigger, of course. Rear guard, which I don't really like much, it's kind of unsturdy because of the magazine release, kind of hits it out of place. So, yeah, it's a bit of a problem. Turning around the gun is also a problem because this gun is really heavy. So here's the fire sector, which, as you guys know, I hate this so much. <laughs> I hate these kinds of fire sectors. <laughs> They're just overall in the way. We have the magazine with what I think is the second magazine release, but still has the standard one. So, here's the magazine, which I cannot remember what round it fires. Uh, so, yep. The magazine release is a bit of a struggle. Uh, that's my least favorite. Uh, magazine, well, is also flared. Um, other uh, magazine release, I believe. There's a indent and just some other details in general. And the slopes on top, on top of the dust cover. Here's the charge handle, which is very unsturdy. I actually broke it right here, and I just don't really like it in general. I mean, it looks cool, but <laughs> it isn't too effective with the uh, bolt timing such a strong rubber band that it does have, so... Yeah, but still works fine, uh, really snappy, and I love the look of it just in general. So here's the, what it looks like to be a delta ring. Uh, it, I know it's not, but it just looks like it. The handguard, which I love. Uh, of course it took many slopes, but I'm so impressed that I finally found enough. But it's a really, really comfortable handguard. I just love it so much. I have a tack rail down here, and a little thing. Gas holes, of course. I don't know what these circular things are, but of course you have the golden plate, because it did work really hard on this gun. Uh, even more holes. This gun's basically full of holes, but... Yeah, it's... <laughs> here are the iron sights. Which, I love these. I think they're so game accurate. I, I just love them. So also since Luke Call of Duty 1 complained in my Mosin Lagant video that the site wasn't adjustable. Boom. Adjusting site. <coughs> so, also, you have the mail system right here. Which I, I love the look of it. It just has such a tactical look. Now here's a detail that I'm very proud of, but it's, <laughs> um, yeah, it's supposed to be a sling mount, uh, as you can tell in the back there was one on the grip and then there's this one in front which breaks off really easily, uh, only attached by uh, one stud, so yeah, I'll have to get it, but this is basically how I made it and I just, I'm just so proud of it because I, I just, I'm, I'm just proud of it, just in general. Mm -hmm. I'm take the bag out. 
uh, here's the gas tube with these holes, which, if you look at the image, it does actually have that. So, yeah. Here's the barrel, of course. I love the look of it. The metal brick right here, which I don't, I don't. Doesn't look too accurate, but it still is amazing. I just love everything on this gun except the magazine, magazine release. They just, they just don't work as I wanted to, and uh, the fire sector looks bad, and it just works bad. I, I just don't like it in my opinion. But still, I think this gun turned out absolutely amazing. So accurate to the real one. So let me know what you guys thought down below. Or even in the comments. <sighs> because this gun has taken me like 6 days, which is a pretty long building time. Um, somewhat. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, make sure to request guns and also leave questions for my Q&A down below. Because... It's it's needed. I just I won't do the Q and A before twelve questions. So yeah. And also just for fun, here's an image that I uh, took. <laughs> it kind of looks like uh, the one image in um, BO3, but anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this gun. And um, yeah, see you guys. Bye.